as you can see, back again with Surgical Tech Tips. Here we are with the ankle fracture, bimalilear fracture. The setup basically is set up on the back table. Most of the times they sit down to do this case. Some of the times they stand up. So I usually just put it on the back table so they can just reach for it or we can both sit down and I'll pull the table close, the back table close to the uh, foot of the table so we can access the ankle. Here we are with, I usually have my drill ready, knives, scissors, pickup, clamp, retractors, we have your sins and we have your Wheatlanders, baby Holmans, free ear elevator and key elevators, curette, and we have the dental pick and the reduction clamps to fix the fracture. So basically, that's basically what you'll need to set that that fracture into place. And I usually anticipate by pulling out locking screws, the the drill guys for the locking screw, the drill the drill bit for the locking screws, and then I'll get my standard screw sets ready, which is the guide, drill guide, and the 2.5 drill and the screwdriver. I usually pull out the the 3.5 in case we do a lag screw. And I have the countersink ready also, as you can see right there. And I have also the plate benders in case you need it. Um, I anticipated the two plates. I pulled out a two, four, six, eight hole and a seven hole ready to go. And I loaded my um, torque limitator. It's right there, if you can see it. And the sleeves for the candy lady. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I don't have to dig in the tray too much because I anticipate basically what they're going to use. And here we are. As you can see, the basic ortho tray. You know, I keep the instruments neat because I don't want to fumble for things that are like not anticipated. If they need something else, I can just reach in there and it's neatly put together so I can just reach and get it real easy. Also moving on to my draping, I have my drapes ready. If they if they're gonna hang by the toes, I have I have my um coker and sponge, prep stick, scissors, clamp with a towel and also the um, stockinette and we use coband here other places use ace bandages or whatever and I have uh, light handles so and I have the surgeon's gown and gloves and basically that's it you know you get in you might have you know a fracture that you need to to lag you lag that you, you know have your dissection tools dissecting tools ready instruments ready and you just dissect get down to the bone take off the periosteum and then start working on your plate, getting your reduction and start putting your plate on. And simple as that, you know, as long as you're prepared and ready to go, I think that, you know, that you're set here. And this is my fracture setup. And I think it will be, it will be helpful to those who are looking to do trauma or, or you need to know trauma as a tech. So this is helpful to you. Hope this is helpful to you and you know, you continue to check my tips out. Signing out, take it easy. We'll hit you up with more and more tips. Just keep, keep it moving.